Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 1st through January 7th. This is for the sign of Gemini. I have pre-shuffled this deck so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment and if one falls out I'm definitely going to let it come out. Um, this may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading, it is a general reading, okay, for a large audience. Just take what does and leave the rest. I will focus this camera in better once I have the cards laid out. So, it appears that you guys uh, have let, let go of something or you're, you are about to. You, it, you know, <sighs> there's an element of unhappiness here, okay, with the sun. There's an element of unhappiness over a situation. Probably, you know, somebody hasn't been offering you the love that you were hoping for or something like that. Um, there is some kind of there's a need for balance there's a need for things to calm down okay feels like things have just been a little chaotic okay there's some heartache here some grief um, maybe some rejection maybe you've been rejected or you're rejecting somebody you know there's some kind of rejection here that is making somebody very unhappy okay um, maybe somebody let you go or you let them go either way something has been let go of or is about to be let go of and it has to do with a relationship I believe it has to do with a relationship you know or you're resisting because you know here we, this is the death of an idea the four of swords but it is reversed so you may be resisting letting it go that could certainly be the case you know the thing is is that if you let it go, there will be new growth, okay? Because there is an opportunity for something new, all right? There's an opportunity for something new that could make you very happy, all right? It's, it's really a time of renewal, and that's what I think that you're being urged to do is to, like, go through this renewal that is needed, this rebirth, okay? There's a, there's a, there's a need to look at something from a new perspective, and to keep going, to keep moving, not to look back. Don't look back, just keep moving forward. It's it's time to start over, it's time to start fresh. It looks like forgiveness is needed, okay? Some kind of forgiveness is needed here, you know, because things have been out of whack. It's like, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who's had some addictions or what, but it feels like probably something happened that caused a bit of chaos and a little bit of discord that, you know, it could have happened quite quickly out of the blue that caused an upset. And now it's time to bring the balance and the um, uh, security and stability back to your life. So you got to remember that everything happens for a reason. Something happened. Something has happened that has uh, is, is was very heavy. Okay, there's something very heavy here. There's a heavy, heavy energy, you know, that has really caused an upset. All right, and I feel like you know a secret. Something came out. Something came out that needs to be dealt with. Okay, and I think this week, you know, your your task is to let it go just let it go you know and and you don't have to forget it just you know forgive it and move on doesn't mean that you have to forget about it but I see forgiveness is needed okay some kind of forgiveness is needed and you need to treat the situation with gentle compassion whatever happened 
you know, needed to happen so that everybody could be aware, you know, so that the practical approach could be taken. Some kind of security needed to come back, you know what I mean? Something needed to happen that, that needed to be dealt with, okay? This needed to come out because it needed to be dealt with. It's like they needed somebody to come in and be the mother. You know what I mean? Because we have the earth mother here twice. It's like somebody needed a mother. You know what I mean? Needed somebody to say, okay, this is what we're going to do. You know, a plan had to come out of this. You know, so that's why this shakeup happened. I see a shakeup happened. You know, and that's why you're being urged to look at it from a different perspective. Okay. Um, this is a new opportunity. Look at, at it as an opportunity for growth. Okay. That's what it is. You know, there's there there could be, is this could, could have to do with children, your children. Okay. Something has happened with a child, I believe, a child where the child needed the mother to step in and do her thing, you know. Um, it feels like, you know, things, it's, it, things are starting to get back on track, okay? They're starting to, but you're still at the beginning of that. Okay, I think somebody, there might have been some addictions here that came, came out, you know, that came out and caused an uproar. I'm going to start shuffling the other deck. Um, now, generally my readings are love readings, but we'll see what happens. This is a... You know, I'm trying to go with the flow, whatever. Actually, I am going with the flow, so it is what it is. Yeah. Now we have the King of Cups twice. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, you know, it feels like there's been some kind of emotional setback, okay? Where, you know, somebody has probably... You know, there definitely could be some addictions, I have to tell you, that have come into play. You know, and somebody may have, uh, you know, stepped outside of their, their realm, per se. You know, and things got a little out of control. Um, and they're withdrawn. Maybe, you know, with, with addictions, people can become withdrawn. So it feels like somebody has become withdrawn and um, needs help. Somebody needs needs your help. Whether it's you or the other person, it's like something has came out and somebody needs your help, needs your guidance, needs your expertise. Maybe they need counseling and they just need you to, to you know, be the practical one in the bunch. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles twice. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. You know, and it does take strength and I'm starting to get the chills big time throughout my whole body so it is, it is gonna take you don't don't quit okay it feels like somebody is feeling quite down in the dumps whether it's you or somebody else that you're dealing with somebody is feeling very hot-headed and stubborn and not willing to move out of a, a situation that really isn't making them happy it's like there's some kind of escapism here and the thing is is they they need somebody very practical to push them in the right direction, okay? Because it's really not fulfilling the wishes in the long run. It's not. It's not. But this, you need to look at this as an opportunity for growth. You know, that it is the end of a difficult situation once this comes out on the table. It feels like, you know, we have some consequences here. There are consequences for people's choices. I mean, there could be even be a pregnancy, you know, an unwanted pregnancy, I just have to tell you. Or uh, maybe not even as much as unwanted as um, unplanned, okay? Um, just want to tell you that. It could be, an, you know, and it could have, it could have come out of um, even a one-night stand or something like that. But anyway, um, it... You know, there is an unexpected choice in love or something pops up out of the blue. 
all right, and where you are being called to you or somebody you're dealing with needs to make a decision what to do. Okay, so there is decision making time here. Be careful about what decisions you make because you will live with that for the rest of your life. Okay, it's going to take, you need to hold your head up high, whoever, I mean, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, somebody's feeling quite down, withdrawn, uh, crying a lot, feeling like, you know, quite depressed. There's some depression here, feeling uh, pretty ugly, you know, and I feel like somebody really needs to um, really master their emotions. There's a lot of somebody is really not mastering their emotions that is watching this and feeling quite overwhelmed and maybe trying to escape this whole situation with drugs and alcohol or spending or some kind of addiction you know and they what they really need is a mother or somebody to take care of them you know and help them along the way so hmm. You know, I don't know who this is for, but it is for somebody. You know, somebody is needing some guidance, whether it's you or another person. Um, right now, you know, it, it's time to go down a different path. And maybe, you know, I see that counseling or even, you know, a retreat is needed. Okay? It's time for healing. It is definitely time for healing. It looks like something... Um, Something came out on the table that was that needed to be dealt with and it caused quite a uproar. All right. A secret was revealed. Which made somebody pretty unhappy. interesting this card is love makes the difference interesting love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security self-worth and importance somebody needs love okay to feel secure love makes the difference if you're going through a tough situation with somebody and you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to get through it, you don't know what you're going to do, love them. Love makes the difference. Unconditional love. Like, that's what she does. She's the earth mother. And she's the earth mother, too. That's why I said there's some kind of motherly love that is needed here. Love makes the difference. This is for you, Gemini. January 1st through the 7th. Talk to you later.